Okay, sports TV packages. Should you get the sports TV packages? I'll probably make another video in the in the future, but right now we're just gonna talk about them all in general. Now, here's what I'm looking at. I am have so much memorabilia for baseball. It's hard to just skip it another year. So I might be able to achieve that, and maybe I won't be. But I can tell you right now, I can't skip it forever because all the stuff I have. What I'm thinking of doing for my whole schedule right now is basically having hockey, AHL, and MLB every year. Skipping out on football, obviously, because I don't have direct TV, so I can't take advantage of that. I mean, I can get, I have the red zone at the house, but the cable's so bad here. It's like watching a subpar standard definition cable. So I don't think it's worth even going out of my way to um, even attempt to watch that. So what I'm going to be doing, I'll say it all over again in order because I distracted myself. We have the baseball, or no, we have the hockey, the age, both packages. The first one is going to be cheap because it's through ESPN Plus. So you pay for it monthly. You don't have to pay for it like crazy. All of them are monthly now, but you should, you should just pay for the yeah, get it over and done with. Um, so we've got the regular NHL, we've got AHL, and we've got MLB for me. Now why am I skipping out? I totally told you why I'm skipping on football. Why am I skipping out on basketball? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, it's too extreme in price. The money that they're asking for and the little bit of resources you get out of it. Right now, if you buy a basketball package, you're, you're talking about... Well, I don't know what it was. It was ex I forgot exactly what it was. I think they're more on a monthly plan now, but they're very expensive. And... Um, Unless you get the most expensive one, you can't avoid the commercials at halftime. And you're going to say, well, it's not so bad. Just a few commercials you save yourself money. No, it's pretty bad going through the same exact commercial every time they go to break. It's not like they have different ones. It's always the same commercial. And plus, basketball, I'll tell you, customer service sucks on it. I remember one year, I forgot to change the card. Uh, the credit card on it or whatever. And it was well past the preseason, but regular season didn't happen yet. I th it was supposed to renew. Well, I changed it to the new one, and it didn't renew. I went through customer service chat. They gave told me to do this, this, and that. They they were too stupid, didn't know what to do. You so you know what I did? I canceled my old one and started another one, and everything was fine. It's just you got to use your brains. Um, first of all, customer service isn't going to help you with any of these things if something goes wrong. So if you have trouble logging in one day, wait a while, wait a couple of days and try to log in again. I understand you're missing out on content if you're trying to watch a live game, but there's nothing you can do about it. If you can't get into a game one day, by the time you solve the problem, the game will be over. And you have to wait for the archive. Now some of them offer archives so many hours after the game. I think baseball, it's like 90 minutes or something. I think basketball it might be two hours or whatever it is. Well, it, it, there's a certain amount of time before you get the live game, which is kind of stupid, considering you can reverse in these games and you have all these DVR functions. You should be able to watch everything immediately after the game, but that's not how it works. Now, everything I just said for all these packages, blackouts apply, with the exception of the AHL. Because the AHL is virtually on no channels, that means if you get the AHL package, you can watch all those games Um no matter where you are. You can watch the current local Providence Bruins where I am, or you could watch anything. So that's a good thing about that. But for yeah, NFL is all black blacked out. Um NHL is definitely blacked out nearby and basketball is blacked out too and baseball. But luckily none of the teams I watch would be around. Now I can see the Rockies fail all this year again. <laughs> um so um Basically that, and you're going to say, well, the Nuggets are doing so good. Why didn't you get basketball this year? This year? Just like I said, it was too expensive. And, oh, it's not even just the price. Basketball is like a three-point three contest the whole game now. If you don't have a three-pointer on your team, expect to lose big time. I can't recall in the last ten years or so I've ever seen a team that doesn't have somebody that can shoot three-pointers. It's pathetic. I mean, back in the day... That wasn't even considered. People used to earn it by going to the actual basket. Um, a lot of guys like Steph Curry, if it wasn't for their three-pointer, I mean, when they have all the points they do, absolutely not. Not saying he's not a very, very talented player, but I just don't like to see the game like that. I would like to see a basketball game that was different. That's probably why the Nuggets aren't past the stage of actually winning the championship yet. It's because of the fact they don't do all of that. Um... 
So this is supposed to be technical for my channel now, more than just focusing on sports. That's why I don't do a lot of sports um, videos anymore for game scores and stuff. What else can I say? What, what else do you get access to? You get access to an archive, but I'm going to tell you right now. These archives they have on MLB and all that and um, NHL. I think HL even has it. Well, maybe they don't. I don't know. I, I, I only fo focused HL a little bit one year. If you focus on all these archives, they give you old classic games, but it's not the same like buying them on DVD. Like right now, I pretty much have every World Series game that was ever released on DVD. So you got to think to yourself, do they offer that in the archive? They do offer a lot of World Series games. I don't think they offer all of them. People said you could go on YouTube to watch them. Yes, but YouTube has commercials too that interrupt you in the middle of the game. I don't want to watch something... And all of a sudden, like, now we're into it. Oh, I gotta watch, um, what's it called? I gotta watch, um, commercials now for, for, even if it's just 25 seconds. It's still a pain in the ass. So, um, did I miss anything else for these packages? Some of the packages used to offer the ability to watch, like, three or four games at once. Four games, but I think that's only on a PC. None of the consoles will allow you to do that. Um, none of the, um... Roku boxes will let you do that, or Roku TVs. So you're looking at one game at a time. And you know what? That's more than enough. I tried watching more than one game at a time. And I split the screens once. I had it on my TV, my iPad, and my iPhone. But I can't watch three games at once. So forget it. I will only watch one game at once from now on. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. All right, well, you choose what package you want to get. They're all going to be $100 a season or more, though. You're not going to get away with that. Even if you split things down by month, they still are going to have to pay that price. All right. Bye-bye.